think it's actually gonna work out. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm telling myself it's gonna be fine. <gasps> oh no, there's drama. There's tea. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. Anyways. This is definitely one of those videos where I don't even know if it's gonna make it to the internet because I don't know how this is gonna go. But today I am gonna go back to another Reformation sample sale. If you watched my video probably like, I don't know, six months ago or so, I went to a Reformation sample sale. They have them like a couple times a year here in LA and it's a way to get Reformation, which is a really cute, trendy, sustainable brand um, at a very discounted price. Keep in mind, Reformation is an extremely expensive brand. Um, they are relatively size inclusive online Line, but in person it's a whole other thing so I don't even know what the sizing availability is gonna be like we'll get into that but I thought I would go check it out I actually had a preview to see this sale early and I had stuff going on so I wasn't able to make it and I'm kind of devastated because I probably would have had a much different experience this is actually the second day of the sale so I have a feeling things are gonna be really picked through again the whole issue with the size inclusivity is like a big one Reformation actually doesn't carry extended sizes in store they only offer it online and I think that's interesting I think that's a, an interesting move to make but because this is a sample sale there might be a little bit of inventory last time there was a very 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 teensy tiny amount of inventory for plus sizes there were like a couple 2x's a couple pants in like 20s and 22s I was definitely the only plus size person there last time so I'm hoping that it won't be too bad um, definitely will have it on my list to go early for the next one but for this one we're just gonna test it out we're gonna see what happens this video could literally Literally never end up on the internet or it could be like the biggest score ever but I'm gonna drive over to the sample sale we're gonna check it out hopefully the line isn't too crazy it opens in about 30 minutes so I may need to like get my ass in line right now for reference by the way I'm typically like a size 1x in Reformation however sometimes a 1x is too big and then like an extra large is way too small it's like a whole thing anyway so let's head to Reformation and go to this sample sale and see what happens All right, so walking up to this sample cell, I felt a little bit more comfortable since I had done it before. I had kind of seen how it went the first time. So right when I got there, I was actually quite surprised at how much shorter the line was than the last time I went, especially because I got in line about 12 minutes before the sale started, as opposed to I think like 45 minutes or so in the last sale. But I think it was just because it was the second day of the sale. Uh, we have sizes extra, extra small to double XL. You're only allowed six items inside the fitting room. There's a lot of you. Um, you're only allowed 10 minutes, so please be mindful of that time frame. Um, if they have to tell you more than twice, they're going to keep you out of the store. I see it done multiple times yesterday. Um, so be mindful of those things, and I'll see you later. Anytime someone has to lay down ground rules like that, you know it's gonna be like a chaotic experience. But I made my way in, I grabbed myself a little bag. This is kind of an overview of what everything looked like. The girlies were going feral for their reformation as they should. It's expensive and so getting it at a discount is really amazing. So I just kind of made my way through whatever rack I could find that was open. It was kind of overstimulating at first just because there was so much to choose from. It felt a little bit overwhelming, but this first section that I decided to go through was most mostly skirts and I found this gorgeous one that I just grabbed right away. I love that gorgeous gold velvet color. So yeah, I was just making my way through mostly skirts. There was a mixture of different athletic ones, regular ones. There was also a short section. It was separated by size, which was really nice. So I was looking in the XL section and I did manage to find this kind of like trouser style short. That's actually the shorts version of another pair of pants that I have called the Mason pants. And this is a little bit short, but I wanted to hang on to it because it was my size in a 14. So I was like, okay, let's see. And then this is the matching top for that skirt. I immediately thought that those two would be such a cute set for the holidays. So I found this one in my size. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with this like crushed velvet, gorgeous for winter time. Then I found this top, which actually is a size 12, but I was looking at it and I was like, it looks like it would fit. And I do fit into some other size 12 reformation tops. I loved this top. It was so pretty. It was a size 12 and if it was open and flowy like that, I might've considered it, but the zipper enclosure on the side did close. So so I was like, that's gonna be too tight. And then this little section over here was kind of a mixture of different like tank tops, spaghetti strap tops, silk tops. And this was actually a pretty decent little like plus size corner. I found that there were little clusters of a bunch of different plus sizes. So a lot of these tops were like one X's and two X's. So cute, that wasn't in my size, but very durable for the holidays. Had a nice little bodysuit situation, tons of workout stuff and basics. Basically my method was like, look for anything that catches your eye, then immediately check the tag. And if it's anywhere close to your size, grab it and then we'll decide later we'll pare down 
to decide things that we want or don't want. But yeah, pretty much this entire corner of this little section was all plus sizes. And I was really impressed to see that because my last sample sale experience for Reformation was a little bit different. It was a lot harder to find, whereas it was much more common to find plus size stuff at this sale this time around. That top that I just showed was a size 20, which I thought was great. And it was just a really beautiful top. I just wish that there was more of it. You know, I'm like digging through every single item to try and find something in my size. Whereas a lot of straight size people were literally just going through every rack and almost every single thing fit them. They didn't have to find like a plus size corner, you know? And I'm grateful that Reformation does have plus sizes, but I just do wish that it was more prevalent. They had cuter stuff, trendier styles, all the same items as the straight sizes, just in plus size. But there was still a lot of really, really cute stuff that said. I was happy to see these cute tops. They were both in a size 22. This was what my bag was looking like after about literally five minutes of being there. It was wild. I was just grabbing whatever I possibly could. This is actually an exact pair of pants that I got at the last sample sale. They're the Mason pant and I love them. There's a velvet pair too, so cute. I believe those were in a size 18 or 20. There was tons of really cute like floral pants. I was so bummed that these weren't in my size because I would have snatched them up immediately. Look how cute those are for summer. And then we moved on to the dresses. Oh my God, were there so many dresses and they were so cute and fun and there were so many floral florals to choose from. So I kind of started right at the beginning of the dresses rack and I was like, I'm gonna make my way through this whole thing because I just have to know. So I was checking every single size, going through every single dress. And I will say Reformation is unmatched when it comes to just gorgeous maxi style dresses that are perfect for like spring, summer, fancy events like weddings, um, bridal showers, baby showers, anything that has to do with like spring, Easter, like just so many cute things to choose from. I think I'm pretty sure I like gasped out loud when I saw this dress, but it wasn't in my size, sadly. Um, I loved this bodice. I thought it was so, so beautiful. It's in a size 16, which I'm more of like a 14 in Reformations plus sizes, but so, so cute. So happy that someone else can get their hands on it. I loved this one. And I was just so thrilled to see that it was in a size 18, that there are such cute plus size dresses available. That one is so funny because I actually paid full price for that, or actually Drew did. He got it for me for my birthday. And if we just would have waited a couple months, could have gotten it at a major discount. Um, I loved this silk dress. It is so, so beautiful. We'll come back to that later. I actually saw this exact dress at the last sample sale. I almost picked it up. I'm glad I didn't because there's no way I'd be able to wear like any kind of bra with it or anything like that. But it's such a gorgeous dress and in plus sizes, which I love. This was probably the heartbreak of my day because this was, I believe, a size eight and this dress wasn't available in plus sizes. And it's like the cutest dress maybe I've ever seen, but unfortunately it wasn't in my size. So I had to let it go. I also made my way over to the jeans section. They had them in these tubs. And as you can see, the jeans only went up to a size 28, which I believe is a US women's size six. So that was what was available. There was still cute stuff, but just nothing in my size. There were also a few um, shoes available. I loved those silver flats. They were so cute. They were a pretty good discount too. I didn't end up picking up any of them, but I loved those like kind of tortoise shell loafers. And then also there were wedding dresses available, which I thought was really, really cool. Like if you were able to get a wedding dress that you wanted at that much of a discount, Count. That's pretty incredible. So that was kind of cool. And then back over to the dresses again. I took a little break and then I came back. I found that sort of like Dalmatian print one. I loved this one. Again, size 12 didn't fit me. And then I was kind of going over everything that was in my bag at this point. This two piece set was incredible. The top was a 14 and the bottoms were unfortunately an 18. So decided to part ways. I loved this knit crochet halter dress. So like 60s, 70s and cool, um, but it was completely see-through. So sadly, I decided to leave that because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to wear this. I loved this skirt. Like seriously, so cute. Pink gingham, perfect for summer. Loved these shorts, but the inseam wasn't long enough. Really cute shorts though, and perfect for like those classic staple outfits. But after much going back and forth, much deliberation, going through everything over and over again, I finally made my selections and headed to the register to pay. This was the pricing, by the way, for all of these. Although they didn't 100% ring up everything exactly like that, but that's kind of a loose guideline. So I believe I paired everything down to eight different items. I paid for my goodies and that was that. All right, I just left. I did manage to get a bag full of stuff and honestly, it was much better than I thought it was gonna be, especially for the technically second full day of the sale, but third day when you include like the preview. We'll talk more about my thoughts later, but we'll head home 
go back to the car and I will show you a haul of everything I got and try it on. All right, made it home, got my bag of stuff, and I thought I would show you everything that I picked up. I didn't end up going in the fitting room because number one, there was like a six item limit and I ran into this issue last time. Basically, there's nowhere to put the rest of your items. Like you only have 10 minutes, I think, in the fitting room. And if you have like a bag of the rest of the stuff that you want, someone can just come and take it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just use discernment and then God forbid, worst case scenario, if one of these things doesn't work out, I'll just like resell it on Poshmark or something like that. We did end up getting, I think, eight different items. I do want to disclaim that like, obviously these things are gonna be on the pricier end. This is like a more kind of higher end brand, at least for compared to what I'm used to paying. Oh my God. So keep that in mind. But I found this stuff that is gonna be so nice for years to come and it's gonna hopefully really, really hold up over time. So it's considered kind of like an investment piece for me. And I love all the ref pieces that I have. So I decided to add a few more. So here we go at the last Reformation sample sale. I got a couple of like tank tops, t-shirts, things like that. And I love them. So I did get two pairs of bike shorts. This first pair is just like a cotton pair of bike shorts. It's made out of 88% organic cotton and 12% spandex. And it's just like a nice kind of loungy, like wear them to Disneyland, wear them under things, wear them around the house type of bike short. And these are in a size one X. It's kind of weird because in Reformation, I'm sort of in between sizes. Basically their largest standard size is an extra large or 12. And it's funny cause like extra large is such a like wide variety of sizes depending on where you go. So at Reformation it's a 12, but it's more like a 10 cause it does run kind of small depending on the item. But their size 14 is their smallest plus size. And a lot of times that can be too big for me. So anyway, just side note and tangent. Then I got a pair of athletic workout shorts. I had my eye on a few athletic things at the last sample sale, but they were all an extra large and I knew that would be too tiny, but they had a few 1X things this time around. So I happened to see this cute pair of coral bike shorts and I pretty much wear these like sort of athletic wear bike shorts pretty much every day to work out. I mix and match with a bunch of different colors of sports bras and stuff. So these are just gonna be great for having, I mean, I literally just work out in my room. <laughs> then I found a cute little basic top. This is called the Marion. I think this was originally part of a two piece, but this is just the top. So it's just a nice basic black cropped kind of scoop neck top. And I love this. I love their basics. Like I said, this is a cotton, I would imagine. Oh, just kidding. It's a tensile lyocell spandex mixture and it just feels really nice. I don't get too sweaty in this. And I just picture this with like some baggy jeans, just a really cute, simple look. And I don't know what the bottoms looked like that we're supposed to go with this, but I didn't see them anywhere. And I'm happy to just have the top. So I want to say this top was like $20, something like that. So very affordable considering. Obviously not affordable when you think about how other t-shirts you can get for like $10 or you can thrift or whatever, but for reformation prices, it's a good price. Not that I need to justify, you get it. Anyways, the next thing that I got is one of two items that I'm really rolling the dice on, like I said. We're gonna find out in the try on together if these end up working out, but I saw this top and it looks like it would fit me. Sometimes you can tell just by looking at it and you know, I tried my best to like put it up, but anyways, this is called the Henley top. It's in the color horizon. It's technically a size 12, but it does look like it would fit. And it's this really cute sort of like straight neckline with spaghetti straps. Oh, and these are detachable too, cute. So it can be a tube top if you want. And then it has buttons down the front and it's kind of like, it feels almost like a, I don't know, linen-y kind of material or something. Oh, just kidding. It's 98% organically grown cotton and 2% spandex. And I just love that. I love the blue. I think it'd be really cute with like how my hair is styled right now with like some cute little jorts maybe with it or with some baggy jeans that are like a darker wash. I love the fact that this is also kind of convertible straps or whatever and you can just wear it as a tube top also. I think that is gonna be so nice. I do worry a little bit about sweat and the fit, but I think it's actually gonna work out. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm telling myself it's gonna be fine. If not, one of my best friends out here, she wears a size 12 in ref, so if it doesn't work out, I'll give it to her. But I think, I have hope. I think it's gonna be really cute. And I just think having nice basic tops is something that is really missing in my wardrobe. I have a ton of like plain white t-shirts and things like that, but I don't have a ton of just basic, simple, cute tops to wear with like a pair of jeans or a skirt or whatever. I got a ton of t-shirts, but not a lot of tops. Hello? 
quiet on the set, please. Quiet on the set, thank you. So anyway, I have a lot of t-shirts, but not a lot of tops. Okay, next moving on is a skirt. This is the only skirt that I ended up getting, but I love this. I first saw this red floral pattern on a dress and I was like, oh, I want that so bad, but it sadly wasn't in my size. And then I found this one and it's so cute. It's a really beautiful red, sort of like maxi, I guess midi maxi length skirt with a big slit on the side. And then it has these beautiful yellow floral patterns with like some maroon and like a little bit of white and I just think it's so pretty. I love red. I'm always gonna be a red girly. I just think red is such a bold color and it goes in my opinion really well with like my skin tone and my hair and stuff. So I am super excited about this. I think this skirt is gonna be like my new leopard print skirt, which I was still on the hunt for by the way. I didn't find one. But back in like 2018, 2019, I wore a ton of leopard print as like a neutral and I feel like this with a nice baggy oversized band tee tucked in a little bit or like a little side tuck with some boots or some cowboy boots or whatever is gonna be so fun. I also think it would look adorable with like a little white tube top and some sandals for summer or a white t-shirt with a denim jacket for like a very sort of Julia Gulia type of look. So I think this is probably the thing I'm the most excited about. By the way, this is called the Zoe skirt and it's in a size 14. I think I mentioned that. That's definitely gotta be my favorite. Although I do have a couple of dresses that I will end it with because, oh my God, I'm so excited about these. All three of these dresses might easily become my favorite, but we'll see. Okay, this first dress is the last item that I'm really rolling the dice on. I'm not 100% sure, but it has a really stretchy bodice and I'm just hoping for the best. Again, it sort of looks like it might fit me, but this is a really beautiful, perfect spring dress that I'm absolutely obsessed with. This is called the Pacey dress. Is that from Dawson's Creek? That's really cute. It's in a size 12, which I have some Reformation tops that I've bought that are a size 12. I have a skirt that's a Reformation skirt that's a size 12. So I mean, it just depends on the item. So I'm really hoping that this works out, especially in the bust. I think everywhere else it'll be fine, but the bust is what I'm the most nervous about. But I love this pattern, this like blue floral pattern. It feels very Southern woman. And I just think it's so cute for springtime, especially with like a pop of color. Like if you did, a really colorful like pink cardigan or something lime green in your bag or even like a red cowboy boot or whatever. I think it would just look so iconic with this. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Again, if it doesn't work out, I will give it to my friend who is a size 12 or resell it, but I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be good. And then this other one I went back and forth about for a really long time because it's not 100% my style, but I just think it's so nice and it could last me forever. So I feel like I just couldn't pass it up. And this is called the K silk dress and it's in a size 14. It is this beautiful sort of like dusty blue color with these gorgeous pink and green flowers on it. And I just thought that the neckline was so beautiful. It's like kind of like a slip dress with that sort of satiny silky style. And I mean, usually this dress is very expensive and I got it for a decent chunk off. So I'm pretty pleased about that. It has like little straps. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. There is a strap on this side and I think there's supposed to be a strap on this side, but the strap like got pulled off and there's actually a hole and this is silk. So, okay. If I take it to a tailor, I don't think that'll be a problem at all to get sewn up. So it's not the end of the world. I can probably just have the strap removed from the side, but that is unfortunate. That is a huge bummer. It's okay. We persevere, we move on. Either way, I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. And like, you're not gonna notice that. No one's gonna see that. So it's not the end of the world, but it is, you know, pretty expensive. So that's gonna piss me off if I think too much about it. We are at the end of the road. And last but not least, I have the most beautiful Miss Honey dress. Like to me, a Miss Honey dress is anything that looks like it could be from the 90s. That's very, you know, maxi length, floral, looks like, you know, your teacher would wear it. And I love that. So I found this one. I think I originally saw it in another size and I was like, oh man, they don't have it in my size. I'm so sad. And then I found one and I love it. This is called the Jovi dress in the print color Ronin and it's a size 14 and look at this dress. It's so beautiful. It really reminds me a lot of those Christy Dawn dresses, those very gorgeous like prairie dresses that are insanely expensive. I love this pattern. It looks like vintage sheets or something like that. And I actually love that. I want to look like a Southern woman who is frolicking in the field 
and then goes back into my house and makes like fresh mint lemonade and everything's from my garden. Do you know what I mean? Like that type of vibe. It's got a cool like v-neck pattern. I do think you can wear a bra with this, like a regular bra, which is amazing. And then it has like sort of a deep V with the cute little button. What are these even called? Like little button enclosures, little button hooks, loops. I'm not sure, but I love this. I think it's just gonna be so pretty. And again, one of those things that I can just have in my closet that's gonna take me throughout the years because I feel like that sort of classic, beautiful prairie dress look will never go out of style it's just so so stunning and I'm so happy to have one in my collection so yeah that is everything that I got at the Reformation sample sale I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about it or if you want to see me do more of these in the future definitely let me know in the comments below I would love to check things out and this is just something a little different something extra that I decided to do for fun because I know I love going thrifting and like going into fitting rooms and stuff but I know the girlies love their ref so I had to do some investigating for you and I'm pretty pleased with all of this stuff I got like this is all stuff that I am genuinely going to wear. We're gonna see about the silk dress. Um, I'm still a little bit perturbed about that, but we'll discuss that at a later date. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.